Hi, I'm Bonnie Roskus from 3D Vinci. In this video, I'll show how to model this Lego compatible bunk bed, which can be produced by a 3D printer. It's easy to find Lego knob dimensions, and here's one modeled in SketchUp. Because it's going to be repeated, I've made it into a component. I measured the Lego person who's going to be using this bed and determined that the bed needs to be four knobs wide by eight knobs long. To start the bottom of the mattress, I used a rectangle to trace over the top of the plate of knobs and pulled up this rectangle 10 millimeters. To make the legs, I erased all of the knobs except for the ones at the four corners. Now I'm going to select everything, right click, and choose intersect faces with model. So now when I go back and erase the four knobs in the corners, What's left is the edges that I need to make the leg supports. So let's push up the bottom about five more millimeters so that the legs really look like legs. Whenever you create a model for 3D printing, you need to know your printer's tolerance, the distance you need to maintain between parts that attach to other parts. I printed these bunk beds on the Affinia H series printer and a tolerance of 0.15 millimeters works pretty well. When you start printing your own models, it's a good idea to print out a few small test parts to determine what tolerance you should be using. So to leave some wiggle room for the Lego knob that will sit under the bed supports, I'm activating offset and offsetting this circle 0.15 millimeters. And to make the knob cover as thick and strong as possible, I'm offsetting this circle again almost to the edge of the support itself. A Lego knob is 1.7 millimeters high, but I need to leave a little bit of extra space when covering the knob. So I'm going to pull down this knob cover 2 millimeters. Now I can select and copy this knob cover to the other three legs. For the headboard, I use the line tool with axis constraints to create these three lines. And I use the push-pull tool with the control key pressed to pull up these three new faces. I use the two-point arc tool to create these two half-circle arcs. Then I trimmed away the extra edges and pushed through the holes to complete the headboard. The Lego knob component that I used in the beginning is still here in the model. I can see it in the components window when I click the house icon. So I'll put one knob here and one knob here. Now I can select the entire headboard and copy it to the other side of the bed. For the final model, all I added was this, a little shallow cutout to prevent whoever was using the bed from rolling out. To get this model into a format that can be 3D printed, you need the SketchUp STL extension. Click the Extension Warehouse icon, search for STL, Open the SketchUp STL link and click Install. Once you have this extension installed, you can open the File menu and find the Export STL option. Export units should always be in millimeters. Once you have your STL file, send it to whatever 3D printer you're using or have it printed for you by companies such as Shapeways. Have fun playing with your new furniture! This project, and many others like it, can be found in my book, Modeling with SketchUp for 3D Printing, available at Amazon or on the 3D Vinci website. Thanks for watching.